Hey guys, welcome back again. My name is Truly and from this video onwards, we will be doing a mini series on Git. So basically what is Git? It is distributed version control system. It is free and open source and it can handle small to large projects very easily. And all these three statements doesn't make any sense to you until and unless you know that what Git is and that's what we are going to talk about. And one thing to note is that, that the Git is created by Linus Storvalds if I can pronounce it correctly and it is the same man that created Linux and one thing more before we begin talking about Git that is you should never confuse Git with all these three things that is GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket. Basically using Git you create a version control system and all these three services that are these cloud services that is GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket they are cloud services to host your Git repositories and it helps you to collaborate with other people so never confuse Git with GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket. So firstly let's understand that what is version control. So now let's take an example of a computer game. So now suppose you start your game at level 0 and then after a period of some time you reach checkpoint A. So what do you traditionally do? You want to save your game because you do not want to again start from position 0. So what you will do? You will save your game. And then from that point onwards, that is from that checkpoint onwards, you start up playing again and you reach checkpoint B. And then again, what you want to do, you want to make a save here because you don't want to again start from checkpoint A, you want to start from checkpoint B. So what you'll do, you'll save the game at checkpoint B and then you'll go to checkpoint C and then you again make a save for the same reasons. And then finally you finish your game. So this is the idea behind version control system. So now let's see that how Git is related to this analogy. So now suppose you have a billion dollar app idea. So what you want to do, you want to start your project. So firstly, what you'll do, you'll start your app project that is at zero position. And where do you want to reach? You want to reach an MVP point that is a minimum viable product. So what you'll do using it, you'll initialize an empty repository at checkpoint zero and now reaching this MVP needs you to add some features to your app. So now let's say you added feature A to your app. So now what you want to do, you want to save your application and in Git we call it commits. So you will make a first commit here that is at feature A. And now again what you will do, you will add feature B to your application and then again what you will do, you will ma again make a commit. So now what are the benefits of making commits? That is, if we want to look at the application that what it looked like when you added feature A, then you can simply switch to feature A commit and you can have a look at the code. And then again, you can switch back to feature B and then you can proceed ahead by adding feature C and then you can again make a commit. And basically these IDs which you see, they are commit IDs and they help us to move forwards and backwards. After feature C, we have a minimum viable product that is product X and again we can make a commit here and now what are the benefits of making these commits that is from any point inside your application that is when you have created an MVP here that is the checkpoint X you can go back in time and you can have a look at the code that was there when you added feature B or feature A or feature C and then if you want to delete that feature you can do that very easily you don't have to write your code again or you don't have to manually remove that code that existed in feature C or feature B. It is automatically done. So therefore that is the basic use of commits. That is you can go backwards in time and see how your code looked at that time. And the orange line which you see is called the master branch and we'll be talking more about the branches in the next slide. So now suppose we have a minimum viral product that is from the start to end and now we see that our app is doing good on the play store or the app store or on the web and now we again want to add another new feature to this another new great feature to our application that is called feature day j so what we will do should we do it on the master branch no we do not do it on the master branch but instead we will create a new branch from the master branch and you can name this branch whatever so here i have called this branch xyz that is the name of the branch and here we will start preparing for a great feature J so that our master branch is not affected and now again we will start preparing on this great feature J so now we will make our update to this great feature J again we make our commit now suppose your app was doing good on the play store or the app store and now a minor bug comes inside your application so what you will do you will simply switch to your master branch 
and then you will update your application that is the minor update you make a commit and then you again push it to the app store or the play store or the web and now again you can switch back to your xyz branch because these two branches are separate that is xyz is the branch of master and master is the main branch and now finally we have this update k and now again we have completed the feature j that was our great feature in this l commit and now what we want to do we want to push this great feature to the app store or the play store so what we'll do we do not want to push it from the xyz branch because on the master branch we have the minor update which was a bug fix so what we'll do we'll switch to the master branch and then what we'll do we'll merge this xyz branch into the master branch and this is called merging of branches and again we have a commit there so now this is how branching works inside git and here we see only two branches but though we can have nested branches also that is from the xyz branch we can again create a separate branch from the xyz branch that is called that might be called abc or whatever you wish to call it so this is the basic idea behind git so in the next video let's see that how do we use git inside our application